Hello, I'm Mike, and I uh, suffer from uh, anxiety, depression with a healthy dose of OCD. And I find that a lot of the time, um, people get anxiety, they get depression on a, on a basic level. But OCD is kind of something that uh, a lot of people don't get. And a lot of people kind of think it's funny. And if you have OCD, if you're somebody who understands what it's about, it's not funny. It can really, really cause a, a serious kink in your day when things aren't perfect. Um, with myself, uh, the OCD kind of manifests itself in a gigantic collection of stuff. Uh, CDs are my, my, my love, my first and foremost collection, but I have movies, I have toys, I have games, I have books, and everything has its place. Everything is in perfectly mint condition, everything is wonderfully organized. I have all my CDs organized alphabetically, and within that, they are organized chronologically. So, for example, I have to know that Aerosmith's Get a Grip came before Nine Lives for everything to be filed correctly and retrievable. Um, now, people who see the CD collection, obviously the first thing they want to do is touch and pull things out and look at them, and that's when my anxiety starts to build a little bit. Um, especially with the touching, because I find that people who uh, care about their possessions, they take good care of them, whereas people who don't, they just kind of throw the CDs on the counter and they get all scratched up, and that doesn't make me too happy, especially when I've spent so much time keeping them perfect. If I have something that's a collectible with like a special packaging, I even put that in a sandwich bag and then file it away, just to make sure it doesn't get scuffed. So I'll have friends come over and move stuff around and they think it's really funny. Oh, Michael, Michael freak out when he, uh, when he sees that this one is uh, missing and it's gone somewhere else. And I do notice, just as they, as they planned with their prank, and I do freak out, uh, probably more so than they planned with their prank. And I've had good hour, two hour long anxiety attacks trying to find <laughs> this missing item that might have been filed from A to J, and they think it's hilarious. Um, I had uh, another time when I was living with a, a buddy of mine, and uh, I was at work. I came home from work, and I was looking at my brand new Van Halen disc that I just bought. It was a uh, collector's edition that came in a tin. And I pulled it out, and I noticed there was a fingerprint on it. And I said to my roommate, I said, Trevor, did anybody touch my Van Halen tin today? And he started laughing. He's like, oh, I told Neil not to touch that. I told him you would notice, and he didn't believe me. And I did notice. <laughs> and I had to give Neil crap the next day, saying, please don't touch my, my, my discs. Some people get it, some people don't. Um, I've actually lost friendships over this thing. Um, when I moved into my new place, I, uh, I had a friend that was living in, a, in an apartment upstairs and she was having a big party. And she came down and she says, do you have any Beatles? Oh yeah, of course I have the Beatles. Who doesn't? It's like, okay, I want that one, that one, and that one. I'll bring them back tomorrow. And uh, I, was, I was obviously, I was getting very uptight and very, very nervous about it. And she could tell. And uh, she wasn't doing much to reassure me that the discs were going to be exactly in the condition that I loaned them in. So I, I came right out and I said, listen, you're going to be the only person who's actually physically handling my discs, right? And at that point, she threw them down on the table. She was, fine, if you don't want me to borrow them, then just forget about it. <laughs> but that wasn't my question, but I'm more comfortable with you not borrowing them. Thanks very much. And I actually lost a friendship over that, over Beatles discs, because somebody didn't understand that I wanted everything to be exactly in the condition that I loaned them. And to them, it's not a big deal. To them, it's just stuff. But to somebody who has a predisposition for OCD and, and um, anxiety and all this other stuff, seeing a blemish on something that I love just sends me into a tizzy. It just, it can ruin my day. I, 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 I can't express how real the anxiety is over something as minor as a fingerprint on a CD. But it is a real thing, and it is something that I deal with, and I'm sure other people with OCD also deal with in their own ways. Maybe for you, it's uh, your pencils always have to be on the left of the pens, and somebody messes that up. But um, it is a very real thing. 
it is something that not a lot of people understand. Some people do. Um, in society, I think we call those people fussy, the people that are fussy about their, their cars. Um, and, you know, we find that amusing in certain ways, but the anxiety is very real. And all we really ask for is a little bit of understanding. So if I'm telling you, please don't touch the CDs, I'm not saying it to be funny, I'm not saying it to be a jerk, I'm saying it just for my own sanity. So here's an example of some pretty meticulous alphabetizing. All the bands are in alphabetical order, and then within the band, all of the albums are in chronological order. Yeah. Don't change just because somebody thinks it's amusing. Be you, and uh, take pride in, in yourself and your collection of whatever it is that you love.